What's up everyone, welcome to another tutorial from MEA Bros. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an Among Us character in Blender. And um, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, quick here before we begin, make sure you guys download this version of Blender right here. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we're going to hit one on a number pad to go to this viewport right here. It's called the front facing viewport. Then we're going to S, then we're going to scale it on the X axis. So I'm going to scale it down to about there. Go three on another pad, we're going to do the same, but just on the Y axis. So S, then Y, then we're going to scale it down to about there. The next step we need to do is we're going to hit Z, then we're going to go to wireframe mode. Then from here, we just need to grab that little editor. So we need to go to tab to go to edit mode. Then we're going to hit select this. You can either click B or just hold on the middle mouse button. And then we're going to hit G. Select it, we're gonna G and we're gonna move it on the Y axis. So move it slightly to about there. Maybe, you, as you can see there, are five, five of those little squares away from the Z axis or that little blue line you see there. So if you look at it from here, if you look at it from here, that's, it should just be a little bit curved like that. So the next thing we need to do here is we're just gonna go to modifiers and we're gonna add a modifier. So a subsurf modifier. Right here again, one on the number pad to go to this view right here. Then we're gonna we're gonna hit Control R on the number pad. So Control R. Then we're gonna bring this down to about to about here. And as you can see, you can count the little those little squares to you know get the exact exact um, exact proportions. So right here, I'm gonna go to wireframe mode again. Select this. Once you go in wireframe, you could actually like select what's behind it again. We're gonna grab it on the y-axis and uh right here we can go back to solid solid viewport. And what we need to do here is first we just need to apply this modifier refs. Then down here, down here is what we're gonna work on. So again, first we need to move this slightly up. So we're gonna move it by hitting G and uh on the z-axis. So right here. And then I'm just gonna I need to work at the, at the bottom of it. So we're gonna go right here. And to do this, actually, you just hit shift in the middle mouse button to move, like how you saw me moving. And right here, we're just going to, like, get at the bottom right here, because this is going to be, like, it's, you know, the um, the among his characters, you know, his feet, his legs and stuff. So the first thing we need to do is just grab this right here. Then we're going to G. Then we're going to grab it on the X axis. So basically, what we're doing here is we're just going to be grabbing it, each each um each one of these um. Yeah, each one of these uh, little little edges right here, we're just gonna grab it on the on different axis, so so it could be easier. So right here, what we basically doing here is just we're gonna get try try and get a shape similar to ex hexagon shape. Is that what's it called? If I'm not mistaken, and we're just trying to get a shape like the same same exact shape I'm I'm kind of getting right here. Just try to try to like um, do the same thing because that's how his legs are gonna come out. Okay, right here, as you can see, it's finished. So we're gonna go back to face selecting mode, and we're gonna select both of these faces right here. Then we're gonna go hit. Uh, I think we, yeah, we're gonna hit one on a number pad, and right here we just need to manually adjust this little area right here. So first we're gonna hit this extrude it out by clicking E to extrude. Then we're gonna hit, uh, we're gonna hit R to rotate it slightly. Then G. Then we're gonna grab it to about to about there. And right here you can see that. This edge is, it doesn't really look, it looks like it's a little bit slanted. This little edge right here. So we, we to, to fix that, we're going to hit Z on the number pad and go back to wireframe mode. Go back to, edge, you know, the edge selecting mode. We're going to select this edge and just manually just move all of these little edges that you see that's kind of poking out. Okay, once you guys are done, you can go back to solid viewport. And you guys can basically see here, like it, it fixed it fixed that that weird problem we had before, and um, yeah, now it's back to normal. So right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit one again, and then go to tab. Hit we're gonna hit tab again to go to um, edit mode. Then we're just gonna go back to wireframe mode. And right here, I just need to manually just adjust this by clicking G, and maybe rotate it a little bit because it looks a little bit slanted. So R. And rotate a little bit right there. Then we just need to select these edges right here because we don't need to 
this side of its body. So we're gonna select all of it and click X. Then we're gonna delete the vertices. So we're basically just gonna have this half. Then we can go back to we can go back to solid viewport right here. Then uh, what I'm basically gonna do is just mirror this. So go to modifiers and we're gonna select the mirror the the mirror modifier right here. And this basically projects what you have and just makes a, a double of it and is in it just like manually adjust what, what axis is in here. So again, we can add another um, subdivision surface modifier and we can add a loop cut. So whatever we're doing over here is gonna affect the other side of it. So I think that's a nice feature here, but anyways, yeah, it affects the other side of it. So you can go back to, to Z. We can go back to this, this mode right here. And we're just gonna manually adjust these little edges right here. So again, we're just trying to get these edges right here. I don't, I don't think we can hit Alt. I was hitting Alt so I could get like the whole round, but I think we need to uh, just manually select these little edges. But if it works for you, you could just already have it and just wait till I'm finished. Okay, once you once you select all the edges. You could just hit G, then we're going to grab it on the X axis, on the Z axis, my bad, slightly right there. And you can see that that's what we're trying to get. We're trying to get a, a nice curve right there. So the first thing, I think we need to start applying these, but first we need to smooth shade it. I'm sorry, smooth shade this first. But I'm just going to select all of these, all of these uh, faces right here. And I think the legs are a little bit too thick, so... Let me just adjust it by clicking all of these faces right here. So, okay, once you selected all the faces, we're gonna, we're gonna S and scale these faces down. Then, once you scaled all the faces down, um, I think it's time to smooth shape this. So, I think the first we need to just apply this one first, then apply the second one. but. Let me smooth shade this. So apply. Then we're gonna hit smooth shape. And right here you can see why we curved. You remember how we curved the edge before? Make it kind of look like an egg-ish, similar to an egg. You know, to just to make because one side is gonna be his bag and the other side is gonna be his glasses, so or the, his eye. <laughs> so um Right here, we're just gonna grab these edges. I think we need to do one at a time. So we can grab this one and just grab it downwards a little bit. And the other one, we can grab it downwards. Then right here, what we're gonna do is this is gonna be his bag. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, wait. We're gonna go just adjust this a little more and go to face selecting mode. And then we're just gonna select all these faces. You can just make a box. You know, just box all of them. So we can get all of this. I think we need to get these last ones soon. Then we need, then we just gonna, you could just extrude this out, but I suggest you first eye inset it, inset it slightly, and then extrude it, extrude it inwards, then outwards. So, I'm gonna S scale a little bit slightly upwards, then E to extrude out. I uh, and right here you can see that the bag looks kind of weird. It looks like the middle part is kind of popping out. So right here, what, we, what you could do is just we're just gonna shift, then select every edge right here. These edges right here that I just selected. Then we're gonna go to seven. You're gonna hit seven to go to this viewport. I mean this view, by the way. So. Right here, we're just going to hit 7 again. So you could just grab this. Then you could just uh, move this inwards. And it kind of fixed that little issue you had there. Where the middle was kind of popping out. Then right here is going to be his glasses area. Or his face. I mean his... Uh, whatever it is. <laughs> the thing is. So we're just going to grab these. Grab you slightly, and this isn't a so we right here. 
we just gonna go to face selected mode and just select all these faces so shift then select each face then we're gonna hit uh we're gonna e and we're gonna inset it a little bit i think we need to inset it or we could just scale it in so i to inset Let's scale it a little bit and you guys can see here the, the shape that we're trying to get so we're going to scale that out slightly and uh i think that's a little bit too much so i think we should see we could see better when we end um i think the the third viewport so let me scale this out a little bit and let me see how it looks on there so just scale it out go right here hit number pad three then um, we're going to scale it out a little bit so scale it out slightly So I'm just adjusting this right fast because I, th I thought mine was a little bit too, it was like intersecting with the other part. So let me scale this out slightly. And right here is what we want, but we need to rotate this a little bit in that area, the top area, we need to push that in. So right here in this top area, we need to push it in. So we're going to zoom up in here, then um, we're just going to adjust this area. So we're going to go to edge selecting mode and we're just going to you know, select these edges. So this one, this one, this one, this one. I, and um, I think it's, wait. Yeah, there's one more behind it. So let me adjust that one as well. So select this one. The meat is gonna grab it in. Move it a little bit inwards like that. Then that's, okay, that's basically, I think the eyes in the bag is done, so. Once we add another modif um, subdivision surface modifier, I think we could see what else we need to fix. So we can go down here and add another one. And right here, you can basically see that it smoothed it out and it made it look really nice. So it's not like any weird side effects that happen. But right here, it seems like the bag needs to be like, you know, needs to be popping out a little more. So we're just going to add a, um, a loop cut right here. And we just moved it in. And you can see there it made like a nice crease or a nice line there. And, and yeah, we're done. We're done with the modeling stage of it, at least. So yeah, so we're just gonna apply all of these and just. Okay, the first thing we need to do is just go up here, change it from EV to cycles. Then once you do that, we're gonna go down to, we're gonna go down to materials. We're gonna add a new material right here. Then uh, we're just gonna add a base color. This base color is gonna be red. So slightly red right here. This is gonna be a red among this character. And if you guys wanna actually just get the exact exact color I'm using, you could just follow that. And you guys could just make the character any color you want, but I just decided red would be a nice color. So so you could just add another color. And this is gonna be for, the, for like the middle part right here. So right here, we're gonna make this color, we're gonna make this uh, I think a black color would be would be good. So right here, make sure oh also make sure that you select you got all of the selected default you selected the the eye area because I was working on it earlier. So you're gonna set this a red color. I mean my bad a black, a deep black color, and that's gonna be the hex value. So if you guys just wanna copy that, y'all could just copy it and hit assign and it should be finished. And there you go. Here's our Mongus character. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed that tutorial, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And leave some um, video suggestions that we should do in the comments down below. Whether it's new tutorials, new videos, new video ideas, anything. And um, yeah, peace out.